I'm standing in front of a very cool piece of art that my wife and daughter did recently, and it reminds me of something that Steve Jobs once said, real artists ship. The work we all do needs to get out to the real world in order to make a difference. We all want to ship value more often, but if we can find ways to make it easier and less stressful to do that, we can increase our impact while reducing the human cost of change. You know, for years, teams equated deployments with releasing code. The maintenance window, which was often like weekly plan downtime, was used as a way to upgrade systems from one release to the next. Then came blue-green deployments, which did away with the need for maintenance windows and the frantic kind of upgrade in place procedures. But they still required a full copy of production running in parallel for at least some time. And they were still big bang release, which released all the new code when traffic was switched from blue to green. When teams discovered how easy it was to decouple deployment from release all the way down to individual blocks of code with feature flags, things got even more interesting. Instead of switching from one replica of production to another, they could turn on and off individual features within a single deployed image, and they could do this on production at any time. And that's where the top three use cases for feature flags come from. Testing in production, gradual releases, and feature experimentation, or A-B testing, all make use of the way feature flags can encapsulate any block of code and selectively expose that code to some users and not others on the same production infrastructure. First use case, testing in production. With testing in production, a developer can finally go from code commit to verifying functionality in production in as little as a few minutes. Designers, developers, and product managers can review and refine visual changes across multiple separate parts of an app in production long before customers ever see them. And as a bonus, any automated tests that are written to verify functionality in production double as always up-to-date monitoring scripts and post-deployment smoke tests. No more test lag. So use case number two, gradual releases. Once code is in production behind a feature flag and tested, it can be gradually released, starting with lower risk groups and expanding in stages to confirm both usability and scalability. The goal here is to limit the blast radius when things occasionally do go wrong. If fewer users are impacted and for a shorter period of time, then incidents are less harmful to your business and less stressful for everyone involved. On to the third use case, feature experimentation. Once you have the ability to target gradual releases by user demographics and to keep individual users in the same cohort across sessions, you have half of what you need to conduct feature experimentation. The other half of what you need is the ability to gather and compare statistics between the different cohorts in a reliable and repeatable way. With feature experimentation, you split some portion of a user population across old and new or multiple alternatives of a feature, typically for a week or two, to compare user experience and business outcomes. The goal is to go beyond proving whether code is buggy or not to focus on business impact. If you go this route, be sure to keep an eye on application-wide do-no-harm metrics, proving you aren't accidentally setting your business back, in addition to the feature-specific conversion stats for the code you're changing. Many teams are combining testing and production, gradual release, and feature experimentation into a standard workflow that balances speed, quality, and risk. If you want to know more about that, check out Audil Ijaz's blog post, The Five Phases of a Feature Launch. Audil's post lays out a five-step process based on the work LinkedIn has published on balancing speed, quality, and risk, or as they call it, SQR. If you want to know more about the top three feature flag use cases, check out the posts I've linked to in the description below. I hope you take advantage of these ideas to increase the impact and satisfaction you find in your own work. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, share, and like.